So in this video, we're going to add textures to our picture. Now, um, before I go too far, uh, I think I need to clean up the edge here on my overpainting. So what I'm going to do is just do some a little racing up there. So I'm going to switch to the eraser tool, and I'm going to make it a little stiffer, and just see if I can kind of work my way cleaning up that edge. Let's see. Oops, did too much there. Let's check my brush settings here. Yeah, I don't want shape dynamics. I'll put transfer pen pressure so it's a little bit better, more like my original brush was. And I'm just going to kind of see if I can clean up around this edge. All right. And if it's not coming through, check to see if maybe you need to erase on the underpainting layer. So I'm going to kind of let that erase on the underpainting layer some. Just kind of clean that up. We could always clean that up later with a background if we wanted, but it was just bothering me. Not a big deal. All right, something like so. Switch back to overpainting a little bit, and later on you could merge these layers. But I mean, right now I'm going to keep them separate. All right, so what we want to do is start working on our texture. So I'm going to create a new layer and have a texture. Now, to create a texture, we need to first have some type of a texture brush. Okay, so this is going to kind of throw everybody for a loop. We're just going to make a new document, and we're going to make it be um, just about a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. Make sure it's pixels and not inches. Okay, and on this picture, we're going to use just black, and we're going to create. Um, a few fuzzy dots and um, uh, my opacity is still low I'm gonna turn that up back to 100 alright so we have a few fuzzy dots and you want to try and randomize them they don't have to all be black okay um, and some of them need to be bigger than others alright and some of them need to be smaller alright and I want you to think about really making it random, like definitely have clusters of ones. And um, then I want you to make some that are harder edge. So I'm going to make my brush be a harder edge and make some out here that are a little crisper. Sometimes they'll hit other ones, okay? Sometimes I'll switch to white and have some gaps, you see, something like that. Um, and what this is doing is we're creating a custom, custom brush for our texture okay so now that I've got this custom design of dots right I'm going to convert it into a brush tip so I'm going to say edit and define brush preset and we're going to call this apple dot brush okay now right now it's just going to stamp that same thing. Well, we don't want it like that. We're going to have to do some other things to it. So let's do some other things to it. Let's bring out the brush panel. F5 will do that. And first off, I'm going to increase my spacing a little bit. And then I'm going to switch over to shape dynamics, have it checked, but I'm going to turn off this pen pressure to where everything's off. Then I'm going to adjust the angle jitter dial to create a randomness of rotation. See them rotating? Okay, this makes it to where we don't get tire tracks. It's very important. Okay. Um, now I sometimes will use the brush with transfer pen pressure on like that and sometimes I'll just keep it off right now I'm gonna go ahead and define this brush preset um, oh wait forgot to do one thing it's still huge let's make it tiny okay maybe make it um, uh, we'll see how 70 does and we'll go ahead and save that brush and then we'll make one that has transfer applied and define its brush preset new brush preset all right, so now I've got this little brush. Now let's go over to our picture again. And uh, maybe it's a little too small. We'll make it a little bigger. And let's just see what I can do. I'm going to start with just one of these colors that's similar, right? And I'm just going to start kind of painting over. And you'll see that you'll just get this texture coming through. Okay. All right, some areas I want to use uh, dark colors to make the texture, right? So you want to work dark colors, and you also want to work light colors. Okay. Now I'm not doing these little yellow dots yet. Those honestly have to be done later. So let's just kind of work this to create some textures throughout. 
and if I make too much, like let's say I make too much here, I can always, because it's on its own layer, I can always go back and erase, right, to make them go away. So just make them, and sometimes you'll see that you, you made them too dark, or you might have made them too light or something. Not a big deal. Okay. So up here, yeah. Okay. Um, the ones on the edge here are turning the direction some, so in other words they're coming around into the edge of the um, fruit so what I'm gonna do for those is see if I can maybe do some blurring so I'm gonna use my smudge tool which is a rarely used picture but uh, I'm sorry a rarely used brush uh, in painting but we'll just kinda wiggle along the edge here a little bit and what it's gonna do is just kinda give you a little blur on that do it around this side too kind of up and down a little bit. And there'll be some processing time involved with those. So that gives you some extra textures. Um, I want to see if I can start making some of these light yellow dots. So I'm going to do that on a, another layer and we're going to call it um, what it is. Texture light yellow. Let's see. Y-E-L-L-O-W. Very good. Texture light yellow. Okay, so these um, need to be on their own layer because we're going to have to blur them. So what I'm going to do is make, um, I'm going to make my brush here, um, let's see, make it much bigger, and yeah, eh, yeah, much bigger here, and I'm just going to see how that looks. It's, it's just, it's not going to work. It's too big of dots. My, my dots are too large. So what I want to do instead is just return to the regular old round brush. Notice that your defined brushes are down at the bottom of your list. Okay. So I'm going to use a, probably a crisp brush and make it tiny. And we're going to make it that bright yellow. And I'm going to exaggerate the yellow. So I'm going to make my yellow much more yellow and much brighter alright and what I'm going to do is just sit here and kind of paint some dots like so alright just a few dots here and there some big some small right and um, there's some over here on the side they're a little smaller there's some up here top alright and what I need to do here is use my finger um, tool to kinda blur some of these away so I want you to see how that kinda wiggles it it makes it go away and uh, the ones on the left I'm definitely gonna do a little more you know and I'm just kinda working in that same curve manner going up and down right and um, some of these might end up being too big, not a big deal, like I said. We can just kind of blur them away or erase them later, and that's what we're going to do. All right, and so let's see. All right, so you can see how some of them definitely aren't working. We're going to have to just go back and maybe do some erasing. So let's see how that, make it a little smaller, make some erase. And all right. Little, just a little bit and then um, I think I'm just going to make some generally lighter by just kind of erasing big I'm I have some pressure sensitivity on my eraser you know so I have some transfer pen pressure so that I can kinda slowly make it go away um, just by tapping a little bit um, so I'm tapping just three and four and five times on each of these until they kinda lighten up for me and uh, let's see let's see how we're doing All right, all right, and if you need to make a copy of that, you could um, and have like you know another set, you know, um, maybe do something, maybe flip it. Um, I'm gonna tra edit transform, and I'm gonna tell it to flip horizontal, so I get a few more lines in there, right? Um, and I'm gonna make this one not so opaque, so just line it up some. All right, so you get some dots on your picture. So that's how you get those little dots and um, the uh, thing we have to do after this is add in our highlights. So